So friends, in this video, I am going to talk about multivariate analysis of variance. Multivariate analysis of variance is actually an extension of ANOVA, except the fact that there are two or more than two numerical dependent variables in MANOVA. MANOVA can be one-way MANOVA as well as two-way MANOVA. One-way MANOVA is used to compare the differences in two or more dependent numerical variables at a time across one categorical independent variable. Whereas two-way or n-way MANOVA is used to compare the differences in two or more dependent numerical variables at a time across two or more than two categorical independent variables. If two categorical independent variables are used, we refer it as two-way MANOVA. If more than two, then we say it is n-way MANOVA. There are certain assumptions of MANOVA which must be satisfied before performing the MANOVA. Number one, the two or more dependent variables must be measured at the interval or ratio scale. Second, independent variables should consist of two or more categories or independent groups. Third, there must be independence of observations, meaning thereby the observations should be independent of each other. Sample size must be adequate to perform multivariate analysis of variance, and there should not be any outlier in the data file. There should be multivariate normality in the data set. It means the dependent variables must be normally distributed across each category of independent variable. There should be linear relationship between each pair of dependent variables for each group of independent variable. And there should be homogeneity of variance and covariance matrices. The homogeneity of covariance can be checked using box M statistics in the SPSS, whereas the homogeneity of variance can be checked using Levin's test of homogeneity. And there should not be any multicollinearity in the data set. The problem of multicollinearity arises when there is a high degree of correlation between the variables. Now assuming that all the assumptions of MANOVA are satisfied, we will see how to perform one-way MANOVA using SPSS. So let's do it in SPSS. In order to perform one-way MANOVA, let me describe data file first. I want to check whether the maths score and science score they are different across the categories of schools which the student attended before. So my maths score and science scores, these are two dependent variables and the school is a categorical variable which will become independent variable. To perform one way MANOVA, go to analyze, click general linear model, click multivariate and now transfer these dependent variables maths and science to the dependent variable box and the type of school as fixed factor. Click on plots, transfer the school as horizontal axis, and click add, continue, go to post hoc. You must remember that post hoc is used to check whether there are significant differences across the categories. So after transferring, click the key, continue, click on options, and make sure that descriptive statistics and estimates of effect sizes continue. Click OK. Now, these are the results of multi one-way multivariate analysis of variance. The first table gives you the descriptive statistics, which tells you that the mean scores in mathematics from the private school children is 77.8. 77.8. From government school, 67.5. And in science, this is 78 and government uh, from government school it is 70. Now to check whether there is a significant difference in the academic performance measured by math score and science score 
we will look at this multivariate test table. Here you need to report only this Wilkes lambda. You just look at the Wilkes lambda in the significant column. If the p value is less than 0 0.05, then we can say that academic performance is significantly dependent on type of schools attended by the children before. Here in this case, as you can see, the p value is less than 0 0.05, it is 0 0.003. We can say that academic performance of the children is significantly dependent on the type of school which they attended before. Now, since the difference is significant, we can look for the test of between subject effect. And here also you just see that math score is significantly different across the categories of schools and science score is also significantly different at 5% level of significance. This is the plot of significant mean differences in math score across private and government schools. Similarly, in the science subject, science score across private and government schools, you can see that there is a huge variation between the mean scores of science and maths across private and government schools. We will discuss two-way MANOVA in a separate video. Thank you. So friends, hope you like the video. For more updates on similar videos, please like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for the immediate notifications.